On this week's episode, we're using beer and tiny hands. Most of you probably noticed that this week's video is slightly longer than normal, and that's because I casted four blanks, one of which was a major failure because I'm trying to cast liquid inside of resin. But I need you guys to stick around to the end because I want you guys to vote on one of the blanks and I'm going to use that blank in next week's video. So I've had this idea for a while now where I want to suspend liquid inside of resin. So I've got myself some trusty beer and we're going to try and cast it two different ways. The first way is I've got these glass test tubes here and I'm going to fill it with beer and cap the top. Then I'll take my core flute mould here, I'll fill it half with resin and let it harden. Then I'll put the test tube on top and we'll cover the rest in resin. And for the second one, I'm going to create a void inside of here by using a silicon mould and then we'll cast around it and then pour the beer inside. And then just out of curiosity, I'm going to finish up by grabbing a cup, pouring beer and resin together, mixing it up and seeing what result we get. As always, I'll be using some art cast for this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour about a half inch in the bottom just so we've got a nice base to work with. Now I'm going to pop this in the pressure pot and we'll let it set. While that one's curing in the pressure pot, I'm going to go ahead and start the second blank. Now for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and take my beer and I'm just going to pour it straight in. Now I'll give it a mix up. Ooh, smells like beer. That's a good thing. I guess all that's left to do for this one is I'm just going to pour it into this plastic cup and that's going to be our mould. What do you guys think? Do you reckon it's even going to work? There's a fair bit of beer in there. I'm not even sure if this will actually set. I'll leave a poll at the top of the screen. Let me know what you think. Once again, I'm just going to drop it in the pressure pot and we'll let it cure. So now I'm going to move on to my third and final blank. Now this is the one I'm most excited about. Remember earlier I said that I was going to pour some resin and then suspend a silicon mold? Well here's my silicon mold. Check this thing out. These are so cool. So I'm going to pour some resin and then I'm going to suspend this over the top and then hopefully I'll be able to pull this out once it's set and we'll have a nice little void left in the middle that we can pour some beer in. So I've gone ahead and got some fishing line and I've just put it through the hand like that. That way we can suspend it over the cup. Ideally we'd want to spray some mould release on this but since I don't have any I've got some WD-40 so I'm just going to coat the hand in that and hopefully that'll make it slip out. Gonna make sure I get it all around these fingers because that's where it's gonna get stuck. It's gonna get stuck anywhere. I think that'll work pretty good. Now I'm just gonna fill my cup with some resin. I've got a feeling that this hand's gonna float to the surface. So I've got this bolt and I'm just gonna put it inside and hopefully that's enough to weigh it down. I've cut two little slits in the side of the cup so I'm just going to put the fishing line in it and it should hold it in place. We've got to make sure we get it as close to centre as possible. So I'm pretty happy with that placement. I'm going to go ahead now and put it in the pressure pot. Hopefully tomorrow we can whip that hand straight out. I've taken our first blank out of the pressure pot and this is the one we're going to use the glass test tube on. I've got some of this UV resin and I'm just going to run a line of it down the glass. That way I can stick it to the base. That way when we pour the resin over the top, the glass won't shift from side to side. The first thing we need to do is fill it with beer. Perfect. Seal it up with the cap. So we've got our beer in the test tube. Now I'm just going to glue it down to the blank. So I'll just run a line across the glass like that. And then we'll stick it down. Now I'm just going to take it out to the sun. In about 10 minutes, it'll be fully set. While that's in the sun curing, let's pull out the hand. I'm 
Oh no. Catastrophic failure. Check that out. Looks like we generated just too much heat. Too deep of a pour. Just got way too hot. What do you reckon? Am I gonna win first place in the art show? Pretty cool. Not what we wanted though. So basically the failure is down to my fault. I used the wrong type of cup. It just couldn't handle the heat and it just collapsed. So I'm gonna do the whole thing again. I've got one of these one liter resin containers. I've chopped the top off. So I'm gonna go ahead now and get it back to the stage before it turned into this. So I've got that ready to go back in the pot, but I'm just gonna put it to the side for the moment. I'm gonna take our first one. I've got the vial glued down to the bottom. I'm just gonna pour some resin over the top. That way I can put both blanks in together. I've got to admit, I don't have a good feeling about this. The hand just doesn't seem to be staying where I want it to, but hey, it's an experiment. Let's just give it a go. I must say, I'm a little nervous about this. Looking good. Well, it looks like one of them have leaked, so they're all joined together, but apart from that, Looks like we've got some good castings. Look at that beer moving. That's awesome. So as a backup, I actually made another hand one just in case our first one didn't turn out. This is like a little fist. You can see the flat hand actually floated a little bit. I had trouble keeping weights in there. So that one didn't turn out too bad. And the beer test tube, that looks awesome. Now it's time to check the beer mix. So it looks like we've left a little bit of beer on top there. It's not a lot though, and there's only about a couple of mils on there. Let me just pour it off. You can see there that we've still got a nice blank. And that's how much beer that come off, which isn't a lot considering how much we poured in there. It seems to be nice and hard. It does have a different smell to it. Definitely doesn't smell like resin or beer. It's got like a different smell altogether. Well, I think that's turned out pretty good. It's gone nice and hard. I really wasn't expecting that. We do have these little bubbles all the way around, almost like it's one big frothy beer. Now I think I'll wait a while before demolding this, I just want to make sure it is really cured really hard, so I might give it another 24 hours or so and then I'll pull it out. So I guess the next thing to do is try and get these hands out. Let's see if our WD-40 done the trick. We got one out, the pinky's out. Let's get the ring finger out next. All right, the ring finger's out, so we got two. We might actually do this. Middle finger's out. Oh, it's a bit rude. Oh, pointer and thumb. Look at that, WD-40 for the win. And there's our little hand void, how cool does that look? Right, onto the fist. Yeah, there we have it, fist pump. We did it. Check out that one. That looks awesome. Another great void to fill with beer. Now it's time for our next hurdle, and that's to pour the beer in and cap it. Now this has always been the hurdle that stopped me from doing this type of thing. Now I've come up with an idea to get some clear plastic, put it over the top. I'm gonna to use some of this UV resin to seal it. Hopefully that's enough that I can pour some resin on top, fill the blank up, and it won't leak. So now it's time to pour in some beer. That's one. Made a bit of a mess with that one. Now I'm just gonna take this UV resin and just put it around the edges, put the plastic on top. I'll go whip it out in the sun. Hopefully we get a nice set.
I'll be back. 10 minutes out in the sun and our UV resin is set. We've got our caps on there. We've got no leaks. Next thing I need to do is pour some resin over the top, cap it off. For this top layer, I'm gonna mix in a couple of colors. I've got candy red and ocean blue. That way when I pour the top layer, you won't be able to see the plastic on top. Now I'm just gonna pop these in the pressure pot and we'll check on them later. So here are our four blanks. Now this is where I need your help. I need you guys to choose which one of these blanks you want me to turn into a bottle opener. In my next video, I'm gonna take this bottle opener, cut the end off and mount it into one of these blanks. We've got the test tube beer, the beer and resin mix, the beer hand, and you can see this one, a bit of the blue must have got past the plastic and it's actually gone down to the fingertips. You can still see the beer in there though. And my favorite, the beer fist. I reckon this thing looks awesome. So I'm gonna put a poll at the top of the screen. Let me know which one you want me to use. You can also leave a comment down below and whichever blank is the winner, that's the one I'll choose to make the opener. Well, that's all for this week's video. If you like this one, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. If it's your first time here and you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. I put new videos out every two weeks. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.